Hi guys, I'm Nina, you're the intro thing, Hipster Darlings, and today I want to talk about video responses and YouTube killing them. Um, this is not something I am particularly inclined to enjoy, um, simply because it doesn't allow uh, creators to communicate with their audience very well. I think that a lot of the language made in the YouTube creator blog post is really disheartening. Um, they use the word fan to describe our relationship, the relationship between me and the camera and you. And I'm sorry, you're not my fans. You're my friends. <laughs> the people who comment on my videos are my friends. They might not be very long time friends. They might be a, a passerby friend, but they're all my friends. And so I think that this relationship is very weird of YouTube not getting that not all of us have fans and they profit off almost everyone. Uh, I know that in Christopher Wurr's video, uh, he talked about pre-roll re pre ads on the Vlogbrothers videos, which is something I have encountered before. Um, and I Twittered John and Hank, and they figured it out. And because YouTube is trying to make decisions for all of us that are very inherently bad for those of us who have a different idea of what this life should be. Being a YouTuber isn't a job. It's a lifestyle. It is a, a place. It's not something that is about the money always. If people wanted to make money, they could go to TV. They could. If people wanted to make money and had the and have the view counts, they have the view counts on their videos. They could go to TV. It would be very, very easy for them to go to TV. But you hear more and more and more that YouTubers don't want to go to TV because TV isn't a isn't making the opportunities that YouTube does. And so YouTube is making all of these opportunities possible, but they're taking them gradually away and becoming more like TV, and I'm not entirely thrilled with that. Uh, one of the big conversations is that of conversation. YouTube is about a conversation, sort of. Um, is a very weird conversation, but it's about a conversation. Uh, you and I have a discussion, and you can give me thoughts about things, and I can take those into consideration. Um, and that is kind of the best thing about YouTube. And by taking away video responses, they're taking part of that away. And, like, I'm not thrilled with that idea. Uh, and they're not really being very clear on what they want to do to replace video responses. I know one of those was to provide video links in the in the comment section, which awesome uh, for one part, um, because I have a lot of things that I watch already, and it would be really nice for when I talk about something uh, and we get a conversation going in the comments for me to be able to link you to a video that kind of states my point uh, and vice versa. But it's ridiculous to me to say that video responses should be kind of in that same vein. No! A video response is about having a conversation with someone. It's about having a intellectual discussion. It's about more than 500 characters, which currently is the only thing that gets done down there. I couldn't say everything I wanted to in a comment that I can in a video. And so for YouTube, YouTube to be taking that away is so asinine. And I don't see why they don't see that. YouTube its math is broken as fuck. Point zero 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 four. Four in a million clicks. 
No! I don't think so, YouTube. You're thinking about people who post things to their own videos. People who post irrelevant shit on popular viral videos. There are numerous people who don't watch YouTube who have a YouTube account. There are numerous people who have YouTube accounts but no videos. And the you're delineating between big creators, big creators, small creators, and the audience that creates with them. Because we don't create in a vacuum. Our media is shaped by our audience. And so for you to say that that's irrelevant, that click-through rate is more important, is so ridiculous. There is so much value in video response, I literally cannot even handle it. And so I want to get this converse, I really just kind of wanted to clarify where yesterday's video was coming through. The I am the 0.0004% uh, video, which if you haven't seen, I will link in the description. And uh, because it's one of my better videos, I like that video. It's uh, my channel trailer right now because I think it is a really important Thing and it is very indicative of what I feel about YouTube. So, thank you. Uh, I also need to make a new channel trailer, and I guess I will do that eventually, soon. Um, but thank you for watching this video and helping and letting me kind of go through my feelings and explain why I think this is such a fundamentally bad idea for YouTube. Because seriously, the creators that make YouTube their next big thing is gonna be a small creator who probably starts with a video response. And by taking that away, you're taking away so many opportunities that people have. So thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed your company. If you have a thought, Please leave me a video response while you still can. I'm very interested in hearing your guys' thoughts on this. I will leave all video responses open. It is completely open, so don't be afraid. I really don't even want to see comments. I, don't, I have no comment question today. I want to see video responses. I want to see what people think about this because it's a very complex issue. So thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for being so awesome. And I will see you guys very soon, hopefully, with new movie reviews. And we'll figure out the new system for the movie reviews together too because that relied on video responses. Yeah, seriously, that is ridiculous. Till I see you next time. Bye, guys.